Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Uh, we discussed in the video clip uh, related to electromagnetic waves that for the transmission of information to take place, first the information signal must be converted to electromagnetic wave uh, which can be radiated through antenna. So when the transmission of information takes place through wireless channel, it is always in the form of electromagnetic wave. So once the signal leaves the antenna, that is once it radiates through the antenna, it can take any of the following three different uh, routes or three different paths. Uh, the type of propagation is described by the route taken by the signal to reach the receiver from the transmitter. Now depending upon what is the frequency of the transmission, there are three types of uh, routes that can uh, take place. So three basic paths or the basic routes that a radio signal can take are First is uh, ground wave propagation in which the waves will always travel along the surface of the earth. Uh, we will discuss ground wave propagation uh, in detail in the next video clip. Uh, in the second type, when the frequencies are from 3 MHz to 30 MHz, it is called sky wave propagation. In sky wave propagation, the waves will go up to the layer called ionosphere uh, and uh, will come back from there. Uh, so that particular space will be covered in case of sky wave propagation. Uh, the third type will be they will start from transmitter uh, and reach the receiver in a straight line. So this is called space wave or line of sight propagation. Uh, the, the transmission of the wave will be in terms of a straight line from transmitter to the receiver and that will take place for the frequency starting from uh, 30 megahertz up to 300 megahertz. So uh, why this is important because uh, in this various uh, frequency ranges that we have defined there are various uh, different applications. So ground wave propagation is used for uh, MW band in radio, medium wave band in radio. Sky wave propagation is used for SW band in uh, again radio systems, which is uh, which is called short wave uh, band. Both are used in radio broadcasting, and uh, the line of sight propagation, which uh, takes place for frequencies from 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz is used for uh, FM which is frequency modulation so FM transmission and also used for uh, TV channel transmissions. So when uh, FM signal is being transmitted or AM signal in the form of medium wave or short wave is transmitted all these signals will go through different types of paths uh, which are ground wave propagation, sky wave propagation and line of sight propagation. The path taken by a radio signal definitely depends upon the frequency of the signal but it also depends upon atmospheric conditions and the time of day. So we will see later on that the, the nature of transmission during daytime and nighttime may also differ slightly and this will affect the quality of the communication. The relationship between frequency and the type of uh, propagation is something that we just now discussed uh, in terms of this particular figure. So let's now start and discuss in detail the very first type which is called ground wave propagation. 